Hey YouTube, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. I was speaking to some friends who were struggling with playing board games with their children, whether it was teaching them how to play, how to be effective, and how to accommodate younger undeveloped minds. Today's video is going to show you how to modify and teach one of my staple board games for children. Enter 5 Minute Dungeon by Spin Master Games. You can find this in many toy stores, your local board game store, or even Amazon. You'll find this at a fair price at $30. In 5 Minute Dungeon, we flip up a card from the monster deck and players try to match the symbols on the cards. Players must verbally communicate what they have and cannot visually show what they have to other players as it is considered cheating. Whenever a card is played, that player draws a card from their deck. The number of players dictates how large your hand size is. When all the symbols are matched on a monster card, a new monster card is flipped up. All cards in the monster deck must be defeated within five minutes, which is tracked by a convenient free phone app on the game store under Five Minute Dungeon. At the end of the monster deck is the final boss, which must be defeated before time runs out as well. If at any time your team is unable to defeat a card, or runs out of time, the team loses. If a player runs out of cards from their draw deck, they are out of the game, but the rest of the team can still continue. That is basically the game. For more rules, refer to the instructions booklet. This is how we're going to introduce the game to children. Explain to them we're going to match cards in our hand with the card we flip up. Show them the five different elements and how to match them. Explain to them they have to say out loud what they have that matches, that they cannot show them to you as they are a secret. Find a way to give them a hero card, whether it's by their color choice or maybe by the design. This is how you modify the game when playing with children. One, remove all skill abilities from cards. Two, remove all event cards in the monster deck. By removing these cards, we simplify the game. When the, when the player becomes older, you can explain how the cards work in more detail and reintroduce them. Start off by playing against the Baby Barbarian boss and only use 10 of the maximum 20 cards. And there you have it. A simple modification to the game should make it easier for your children to partake in one of your passions. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below what games you like to play with children and whether you modify them to accommodate them. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.